My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today it is the fourth Sunday in the ordinary time. We read from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. We read as follows. They went into Capernaum, and immediately on Sabbath day, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority, not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed. So they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this, a new teaching? With authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere throughout the, all the surrounding region of Galilee. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was captivating. His magnetism and his effect on the listeners was obvious. His fame spread everywhere. Multitude followed him from place to place. They watched his miracles listened attentively to his preaching. They were amazed, says the gospel. We can imagine how Thong talked about him. But a thought comes to mind. Where were they all on Good Friday? How long did their amazement last? When did they stop following him or listening to Jesus? The explanation is easy. They followed him out of curiosity, not out of love. They were not his friends. For a while they talked about him, but they probably never talked with him. There was no dialogue with him, no prayer, no friendship. Just curiosity. However, God doesn't talk with crowds. He talks with each person. He doesn't need fans. He needs only friends. One day, a counselor of St. Louis, the king of France, suggested to him, just for a change, that he listened to a sermon of a distinguished Parisian preacher instead of attending his daily mass. The Holy King replied, And why would I prefer to hear someone speaking about a friend of mine if I can meet my friend and talk with him in person? We are not called to listen to the priest talking about Jesus. We are called to meet Jesus in person, to converse with him, and then with time to fall in love with him. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask our mother Mary to help us to become the soul of prayer, a real friend of her son Jesus. May we, from today, try to become a wonderful friend to Jesus by listening to him in our prayer. May we increase our time of prayer. May we grab the opportunity during the day to say a silent prayer and also become silent to listen to Jesus so that he can talk to us. That can be a beautiful dialogue whereby we can really strengthen our friendship with Jesus. May our actions glorify God. Amen.